Hey guys, it's Nick with Chestnut Hills Farmstead. We are here in hot, sunny, dry Alabama. We've got another scorcher today, but we are celebrating our Independence Day weekend this weekend where we celebrate our freedom and we've got some animals on the farm that are gaining their freedom. Now I realize that we have a lot of you that are watching this that are not in the US and Independence Day doesn't mean anything to you. But this is the weekend, Ju July 4th was actually on Thursday. This is the weekend that we celebrate our independence and the freedom that we have as the United States. Granted, a lot of you may fire back at me and say, hey, our freedoms are disappearing. I'm not getting into that. I can't say I disagree with you, but I'm not getting into it on here. But we do have some animals we want to show you that we're going to change up the way they live. And we processed our broilers on Monday. So we're bringing that A-frame chicken tractor down and we're going to let somebody else live in it for a little while. I may process that rooster if he don't be quiet. <laughs> We've got somebody else that's going to live in our A-frame tractor for a little bit. And while we get that moved, I want to show you a little bit of what we've had going on this weekend. We had a, some of you may have seen it on the reel. We decided the day of July 4th while I was doing some cooking that we would take some time off the farm and just have a little bit of fun. And then that night we went and watched the fireworks in our in our town. And you know that we share a good bit of our little small town here with you. So watch that and we're going to get this moved and I'll be right back. So it's our spur of the moment, 4th of July celebration. We got to set it up at the farm so a little foot can do it. We still got a big one to set up at the farm because we got a few of these tarps. And that way we can let Littlefoot come and slide. Come on, Daddy. We're going to show him where. Ready, set, go! Get a good run and slide. Show them how to do it, Rhett. That's how you do it. Now y'all go. That was pitiful. Go, go, mama. Go, Zoe.
Are you going by moving? That was terrible. The last bottle of soap for the day just went on. So the last bottle of soap for the day. Lather it up, Rip. <laughs> All right, Daddy. <laughs> All right, this is Daddy's last time because Daddy's old and sore. You and Mama going one more time. It's got fresh soap. You got no excuse. Go. Oh my gosh. That was terrible. That was your grand finale. You said y'all had to do it one more time, and that was it. You can crouch down, but you need to be moving. You stop and then lay down. <laughs> you just Here we are, we're back to work at the farm. 
Me and Chance are gonna feed the donkeys and the cows. All right, Chance, fill her up, Buttercup. Got it? There we go. Get them all filled up. I'm running. Why are you running to come to me? Come on, Sink. Come on, Cinco. Hey, Cinco. Oh, there's Jack. Hey, buddy. Come on, let's go eat, bud. Come on, let's go. Come on. Go eat. Ooh, everybody's ready. It is thundering. All right. Where are you going? go. Well, there's our little pea cheeks. Happy as can be. But they're going to stay over here just a little bit longer. They're not quite ready. I know that they've been out with the mama, but I don't think they're quite ready come out of here just yet all right here's the first group of animals getting their independence let's see what we got in this tote we started in a crate in a kennel and they were scattering so we had to improvise Uh, either way. Oh, guineas. The guineas are moving out of the brooder. We've got these two colors and different sizes. And we are coming to grass and learning to live on this farm so they don't all leave. Chance, you might have to help keep them in there. I think I can get it if you can go get me a water. Chance is highly fashionable today with a red shirt and orange shorts. Yeah. That's farm fashion, I guess. There they are. They're all huddled up and no, it's not because they're cold. They're getting as far away from me as possible. So they're all huddled into the corner. But there they are. Hey, Rat, me that yellow container over there. There's a few that are mixed color. Some that are that pearl color. They do have an idea. So, What's your idea? Oh, I had that zoomed in. Don't zoom in. So we're going to take this. Bring it to me. Put some, to get out of the yeah, so they can we can put some shavings in it and put it in there and kind of put it in the corner so that if they want to get in here yeah. out of the weather, they can. That's and fine. Also out of the storms and rain and heavy rain. Buddy, we've been so long without storms they might enjoy it. We got some rain clouds. It's been thundering, but we're starting to see some lightning. And we sure are hoping for it. It would be glorious. We haven't had measurable rain in I don't know how long. They said we, the one we took to my school for farm day. It is, ain't it? 
That's yeah. one of them. Yeah. There's some more over there by the coop that we took to your school. The red ones and the other black and white ones. Yep. All right, Mama. We got somebody else getting their independence today. Yeah, it's not Farmer Red. It's Mama. Come on, let's show them who else we're going to let have some independence. There's in the... What is in the... Freedom. We're going to let Oakley and Homie lose today. Oakley and homie. Oakley and homie run around today, aren't we? They've been locked up since middle May. Yep. So I guess it would be a good time to, to do it. This this is their home. Well, maybe they'll stay with Jason and Brooke. Who have put themselves in there too. Yeah. Let's see them. Here they come. There they come. There went Jason. There's homie. There, Miss Brooke. Where's Oakley? Come on, Oakley. She don't want out. Oh, there she comes. Don't scare her. Woo. She decided to fly way over there in the garden. Everybody did. Jason, well, Miss Brooks the only one that stayed close by. Jason went way up in that big tree, she but said, he's been up there plenty before. She said, I and there, said nowhere. She said, That's I can see nice. homie. Yeah. Yeah, there he goes. I see homie. And Oakley went way down in the garden. I scared her a little bit trying to get her out. I was trying to encourage her, and we scared her when I touched her. Yeah. And then I stayed Brooke and Jason. Look at him. He is all muddy. He is all muddy where Mackenzie dumped their water out. Yeah, he decided to roll in it. Mackenzie changed out their water and cleaned the water, and he got down in it and laid down. There he Probably goes. cooling. Look at him. Tinsel got hot. He said, oh, he gonna roll. Hey, everyone. There oh, goes Miss Brooke. There's Homie. Homie didn't go very far. Jason will be back in a minute. There she is. Can y'all see her? She's already coming back from the garden. She's coming back this way. She flew way down there in the garden, but she's already coming back this way. Zoe's doing what she thinks sounds like a peahen. <laughs> and rats imitate mama. Well, she spooked easy, but obviously she's also easy to catch. I've never seen a peacock or a peahen that easy to catch. She, um, she didn't want to be caught, but it wasn't terribly hard. I'm going to find the others and put her with them. They're up there. Okay. Homie's walking around with Jason and Brooke. Okay. Let me see her. There's a pretty girl. Show a good view of her. There's a pretty girl. There's Oakley. I'm a pretty girl. I'm a pretty girl. I'm a pretty girl. Well, there they all are. So Zoe's taking Oakley up there with them. There's Miss Brooke and Jason. Homie's right there on the ground. And then Zoe's taking Oakley to them. And she brought all the baby goats to see their mamas. And y'all, we've been showing you this weather. You know if we have a storm tonight, we'd love us to have some more babies. We may have more baby goats on the video for Tuesday. We still got Dolly Walker up there due. Jill, I don't think is all that close. But she still got some coming. And Miss Bell is over here on the other side of this hut. 
and she is really ready. There's Miss Bell. She's staying pretty close to this hut, even during feeding time, so she could be the next one. We'll find out if it comes a storm tonight. There's a good chance we're gonna have babies. Okay, there's Brooke and Jason on top. Oakley and Homie. You go on with them? Go on. Go with them. There they go. You can really tell how much his tail has grown just since we got him. <laughs> gotten peacock eggs or peahen eggs the last two days and we really think that she may be trying to get in deep grass to make her a nest because when she came out that's how zoe caught her so easy she was laying down in that deep grass and then she went up there and laid down in deep grass just kind of a theory but seeing as how we've got eggs the past two days we're thinking they're probably coming from her and she may be getting her a nesting spot look at her well i'm just gonna leave her at least we know where to look for her at Yeah, you did. But Oakley is in the grass. So I'm wondering if she's going to lay some eggs right there. She's like Brooke. Yeah. So we're going to be quiet, okay? So we thought we're just going to release these birds and they're going to wander around the property. So for the last three days that we've come to feed and, you know, be at the farm, there's been two eggs in there. And I really think Brooke has done laying eggs, so I'm really guessing they might be Oakley's. We put one in the incubator, and we've got one in the car that we found today. But as soon as we let them out, she headed up here, which is where it's real secluded, like Brooke had her babies. So I'm wondering if she's gonna try to sit on a clutch of eggs. But we know where to look for her at 
So we're just gonna have to continue this story on another day and see see what happens. Hey, Mama. Because she, she beelined from down there all the way across straight up here and stood in the drive for a long time. And she headed up here and now she's laid down in some really tall grass. So the story continues. Well guys, that's probably gonna be it for today. We're getting a lot of thunder and lightning. And I tell you what, we're gonna be grateful for it if we get some rain out of it. But we're at least gonna wrap up and try to get home before it gets here. We've got everybody settled in and ready to weather it out if we do have a storm coming. We hope you'll stick around and find out if we have goats during the storm tonight. And also we're gonna be watching Oakland and see if we have another peahen nest like we had with Miss Brooke. Thanks for watching Chestnut Who's Farm said I hope you like and subscribe. Bye!